Good day, people. We are back with Siberia 5, and I think I had figured out, it's been a while since video 4, I know, but I think I figured out what the problem was. Yes. I'm supposed to get a cylinder. Jammed. Tell me about it. Alright, so I got. I'll put it in there. Let's into this. Hi. Where are you hiding? We've got to go home. We're late. Very late. Anna, over there. What do you mean, over there? Please, Hans. We've got to go. It's a secret. You've got to swear. Okay, okay. I, Anna Borelberg, swear to my brother Hans to never ever mention this to anyone. It's right there! You see? But it's dark in there. Don't worry, I took a lantern. From the factory. Girls, honestly. You won't look so clever when Father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. Mammoth pictures. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. Hans. <laughs> Okay, now I can go back to the train and put them on the things that they belong on. Come on, lady. Come on. I learned this theme song like on the piano at one point, or at least the main melody. Going to new boom, going to run, going to new and exciting places now. is like I'm gonna put this here Here we go. 
Oscar, can we leave? It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like- Don't think for- I also have much to- Dang it. I hate that. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Don't think for one moment. I oh. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? Yes. I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and... An engineer prides himself. On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? <sighs> I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it, for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself then. I mean, a wind-up train can't be that complicated. You, wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker. Okay. I got that. Okay, we exit to train. Look, it's a sheep, another person. Not that way. Come on. Sit. Go over here. Turn the, wheel, turn the wheel and then pull the lever. Wonderful. Absolutely marvelous. Let's get on with this show. We've been here way too long. Way too many videos. Way too much time. We have to move on to the next area. Crap! Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Dan's gay. Are you mad at me? I've just called Martha and Lorma. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh. Yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor Yeah, the flame in yawn is about like 50 feet to... high right now. It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Overly attached boyfriend. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! She hasn't come back for a long time. Who are you telling you? Let me tell you. Ten minutes. Can we go? 
It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by- Don't think. I also- Alright. Let's roll. Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. We're still playing this game. Right. Where are we, Oscar? At the halls of residence of Barockstadt University. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for, then? Wind them up. Find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station i have seen nothing that fits that description kate walker i guess we'd better find out then i do not like this station the atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings i will wait for you inside the train <sighs> wimp and to think that when i first became a lawyer i was worried i'd get stuck is something wrong kate walker is the restaurant car service not here? Don't worry, Oscar. Everything's just hunky door. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while. Dang it, I hate that. Everything up? Okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Oscar, we have a serious problem. How can we carry on? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Oscar? There's no- Rust awaits my every movement- hmm. Not a lot, I suppose. Oscar, I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valady Len. Maybe this- Nothing is left to chance in a railroad network. You agree with me, then? We have no concrete- I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Oscar. No, Kate. Oscar? In a while. Okay, whatever. Birdie.
thing looks like the winding machine I used in the Valadilan station. I've got to find a way of getting the train up here. Yes, Oscar, what is it? A message has arrived for you. A message? You have been summoned to see the rectors. They are the highest authority at the university. They want to talk to you. Talk to me? Yes, to the person responsible for the train. So, I'm in charge now, sure, okay. But they do not say why. Okay, let's go talk to these gentlemen. These mental gentlemen. I'm on a bridge. I'm really thankful that the second game was so much more streamlined than the first. The first was like almost painful to play through. No? The art style redeems a lot of things though. I think I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. All these university students look the same. Now. Saltus. Nature, not fact, salt. I have to go over here. to speak with me, head authority, big brother. Good day to you, gentlemen. Tell me, young lady, to what do we owe this pleasure? Please do be brief. We do not have very much time on our hands. As rectors of this university, we have serious matters to attend to and our time is precious. I have heard you wish to meet the owner of the train that is currently in your station. May I know the reason for your summons? We are surprised that your train has not yet left, miss. The situation is most regrettable. The rules do clearly state that trains are meant to come and go and not remain stationary at a platform. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. That is the rule. 
We agree then, dear colleagues, that what we're dealing with is deviant behavior. This matter really is cause for concern. It's a clockwork train, you see? So it needs winding up again? Unfortunately, there is no equipment in the station to do this. A clockwork train? That's strange. How very quaint. You mean it's some sort of mechanical toy? Incredible. You are causing a hindrance to us, Miss... I am very while. hopeful that I will find what I need along the wall. The wall? Uh, miss, that really is not a suitable place for you to go. Especially for a young lady. You see, Miss, we freely admit that every day we praise the existence of that particular edifice. We owe the integrity of our dear university and the fine education it provides to the wall. It protects us from harm and invasion from the unknown. May God protect us from what is beyond those ramparts, Miss. Please believe me. I don't have any choice. I must continue my journey. Uh, such a decision is a correct one since it's in line with regulations. Thus, your train will indeed be able to leave. And consequently cease to obstruct our station. There's nowhere else to go. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kate Walker. Walker, Walker, haven't we already had a Miss Walker? Ethnology Masters, September 1953, if my memory serves me correctly. Perfectly well, my dear colleague. But if I may be so bold, it was a Mr. Walker and okay. not- Pure incitement. It was scandalous. Tradition, young lady. One must always uphold a tradition. You see, I didn't actually intend to stop here. But the springs of my train gave up, you see? No, not really. You mean to say you're not a student? You have arrived a little late in the term, Miss. Enrollment for this year has already terminated. But as rectors of... You don't understand. I'm a lawyer from New York. Or rather, Valadilen, more precisely. My client wants to buy out an old... Not really. This is a most peculiar tale. A kerfuffle? We have an excellent law school, if you should ever change your mind. I'm already a lawyer, aren't I? Can you possibly I? help me out here? Miss, your insistence is almost verging on indecency. We cannot constantly be at your disposal. We have many other requests to attend to. If you don't mind, could you not disturb us all the time? Thank you. I have to use that line sometime. If you don't mind, can you not disturb me all the Does time? Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean anything to you by chance? Ah, one of the brightest, most idealistic intellects to have graced our university. Hans Vorlberg. I remember speaking to him once. I was still a student at the time. He just stared at me, lost in thought for a while. He scarcely ever said a word. But how can one forget him? Idealistic? I'll grant you that. Prehistoric? How dare you? A little far-fetched, maybe. But he did have... My assessment is holy! What about the bandstand, then? My dear colleagues, I beseech... No, no. Not at all. I'm looking for him to clear up an inheritance matter. Is he still here? What? Here? At the university? <laughs> no, not at all. He... The poor soul moved on once he learned all he needed to know about mammoths. Ah, this establishment was never quite the same after his departure. You mean to say it was never as bad? All that... Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's try to retain the calm and level-headedness that we've Holy been crap. In This is what sucks about living near an airport. Well, not near, but like... To where tra planes, Excuse me. trains fly over. Miss, we find ourselves terribly put out by the presence of your train in our station and by its recurrent immobility. Indeed, the situation is very regrettable. Your huge locomotive is very cumbersome. A train should first stop, then subsequently leave. You that is said the that. rule. That idea of the station aviary is really very original. It's the pride of our university. It contains some very... Do you remember Alexander? Absolute. A poison chalice, indeed. Oh, yes, it... Here we are, busy chat-chatting and... Already? Mm -hmm. Thank you for a ch... And thank you. Okay. 
And that wraps up this episode. I have a crap load to do in this place to get the train going again. The walkthrough is like massive for that this section, so I will be seeing you in video six where we're just going to go to town. Um, so I'll see you guys in video six.